Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So the major update 17 details have been posted online on the Zlong Games website, as well as in-game in the announcements page. So I thought I would just quickly go over them because pretty much exactly as expected. Uh, first of all, the two new heroes are indeed Deedlit and Ashram. And so next up is that there will be the special login event to get the SR Hero Pure Test Shards. So that's as expected as well. And that is coming on May 7th, along with the banner for the Little Ashram. Now, the other, uh, the other event with this update, which is going to be... Oh, it's actually not listed here, it seems. Nope, it's not listed here. So I'm going to have to switch over to the website for the other event, but the other event will be for Parn, right? So it's the Record of Lodos War event. And that event is called the Glorious Annals of Lodos, okay? So the event is going to start a week late. So it's going to run from May 14th to June the 3rd. And this event, is a, of course a secret realm event, you're going to do battles, you're going to do challenges, and you're going to farm for, I don't know, for, I guess, Parn shards, Pure Test shards, as well as a, as a limited edition avatar frame, right? So that event is running the following week, May 14th to June the 3rd. So it's not starting this week for the event, but the login event will be starting this week. And then the final edition, is that we're getting the new time rift stages. You know, we have saw the icon in the time rift, but it said it was not available yet. Now we're clearly going to be getting those time rift battles. You just have to complete the main story up to chapter 50. You know, if you're in already act two, then you've long passed chapter 50. And yeah, I mean, what this, what the time rift battle seems to offer is the last bond power materials required for a very special upgrade. So what that is talking about is the level 10 uh, attack and defense bond, right? We've been stuck at level 9 for the very longest time because we didn't have access to that very last material. So clearly, the new stages will unlock the materials to get that very final bond. So very likely, <laughs> I may have to do all the battles on Thursday so that I can start getting those bond materials for the playoffs. Very annoying uh, in some ways, but I guess that's what's going to happen. So Thursday, I'm going to be spending all my time playing through the new time rift battles. <laughs> okay, so let's jump back into the game to cover some additional details about this update, right? Because it's these are the new additions, but there are also various minor changes, right? So we've already talked about the new time rift stage, and of course the new additions is exactly what I mentioned in previous videos. Juggler, Landius, Angelina, Yusuke, and Lifany all get their 3C skill. Okay. What I didn't mention is that there is a love confession scene for young Jessica. <gasps> Whatever. <laughs> um, exclusive equipment, Leon gets his armor, Lance gets his headgear. And there's also this new Adventure Aid plan. It's a speed up function for new players where if players created new accounts and they haven't reached level 60 yet, they get this Adventure Aid buff. It's a buff that lasts for 14 days or when you hit level 60. And while the buff is available, you get twice as much XP from daily missions and receive increased daily bonus reward drops from Secret Realm Dungeons and get more drops from Time Rift Stages. So it's just, I guess, let new players catch up to all of us other players faster. Kind of makes sense. I mean, it's a very, very long grind otherwise. And then finally, some other stage and battle adjustments. Apparently, Angelica gets weakened in Sumere's Awakening Challenge stage. I guess Angelica was too powerful there. I don't know. Um... <laughs> And then there's a fix where the in-battle character models from Matthew, Almeida, and certain other characters will not display correctly. 
in the main story, part 2, chapter 7 and 9. I have no <laughs> idea either. I never encountered that. Um, apparently, you would not get the perfect battle feat on Emilia's fifth stage. I don't have Emilia. Can't say. <laughs> and finally, they also updated the description for Reaper's Touch, Chain Hook, and Sleep where they changed the phrase from damage to AoE damage, right? The actual skill effect has not changed. This change kind of makes sense because damage tends to refer to you getting into actual combat, right? But Reaper's Touch, Chain Hook, and Sleep don't actually get into combat in the first place. You're just casting a spell that affects the enemy. So updating it to uh, AoE damage kind of makes sense. As for the other adjustments, well, They've added a switch hero function to the bonds interface and its sub-interfaces so that you can use batch adding function for selectable gifts without exiting each interface. Okay. Doesn't that already exist? Well, I'll take a look right after this. And then fix the problem where raising training field technology clear impurities to max level would lead to a second tier holy soldier skill descriptions being displayed incorrectly. I have no idea. Whatever. So I guess that's a very, very unique bug. Uh, I guess under holy tra training or something, if you upgrade the clear impurities skill, somehow some s descriptions of other things would get affected. I don't know. Whatever. It's not like I have. It's not like I can upgrade it to level ten right now, anyways. So we'll ignore that one entirely. So with regards to the bonds page, presumably they're talking about a switch hero button on this page, the gifting page, right? Because they already have the switch hero button on, let's say, the gate of fate page. They have the switch hero button on the bonds page. So presumably they're now adding it to the gifting page as well to make it easier to swap between heroes instead of having to click back, back, and go to the new hero and then gifting again, right? Just a small time saver. And then... Finally, the Time Rift update is, as mentioned, it's not available right now, but clearly we're going to get this section to do Time Rift on. So that would probably be, you know, just like this, two, four, six, seven to nine new battles, and then seven to new Elite Mode battles. And most likely, the Elite Mode battles will be the ones that drop the materials you need. That is, these Spirits of Light, for example, um, you know, whatever spirits, because lots of heroes, there's lots of heroes and they all tend to need different spirits. Right? So presumably that's what's going to drop from the new Time Rift maps, right? Yeah, so it even says 14.7 Elite Mode is where it drops. Oh, they've already upgraded, updated some of those descriptions. So if I click on this, for example, 14.2 Spirit of Light. So yeah. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Those materials will be available starting on Thursday. So, going to have to get that done too. Oh man. So, my. I'm going to have to save some of these burgers in preparation for that. Um, let's say, worst case scenario would be 90, 9 battles each. So, that would be 90 stamina. Um. Wow. 90 stamina to clear the normal versions, right? 9 battles times 15 is another 135 stamina to clear the elite mode versions. And then you're going to have to farm each map two times. Because you're going to need... You can farm the elite mode maps three times per day. And you're going to need to farm these maps to get the materials. So... Okay. So... I'm going to have to save up some burgers, long story short, or decide to purchase stamina on Thursday. We'll see. I'll hold on to a few. I mean, let's say if there's nine maps, multiply by that by three, that's 27, multiply by 15, you need 405 stamina to do that. But I don't think there's going to be nine maps. Um, now taking a quick look just now at some of those bond power pages, right? We saw that one map unlocked was 14-2. We saw Landius was 14-7. So 
I'm going to assume there's going to be seven maps. Okay. Yeah. Of course, even with seven maps, that's still a lot of battles to farm, right? So that's seven times three times 15, that's still 315 stamina. Uh, <laughs> and you're gonna have to farm that for several days because you're going to have to unlock the bonds on at least 15 characters, if not 21, if you include your Apex Arena character, uh, your backup characters for Apex Arena. So, I don't have that many burgers, so we'll see. I mean, darn, this is not a good thing for me. <laughs> because I was originally going to use up all my burgers to farm up some of my training field battles. But now it looks like I'm going to have to save up the burgers to finish up the bonds on a bunch of characters. So that they can have at least their attack bond for 15% attack intent skill increase. Although tanks should still get hit point defense and magic defense. Uh, whatever, we'll see. I'll take care of it on Thursday. So there we go. So that's all the update details that we have confirmed at this point. And you know, pretty much what was expected, you know, delayed. As I mentioned, you know, I expected the event to be delayed in the secret realm because there was already this Trails in Time second chapter and that's happening. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this coverage of the update useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.